Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me these clip art of Easter eggs and wanted to know how you could cut them out or redraw them so that they'd be vector. And I didn't use the same colors, but I'm actually going to try some first. I'm just going to trace them and see what happens. Outline trait clip art. And not to get the egg themselves, but I want to show you something that might help you in because I don't think they're going to trace very well. But if we go to object group and ungroup, and then we select this egg, that's a good shape for an egg. So we don't have to break it apart or anything. We can use that shape, but how can we use that shape? We, we can use that shape by if we go to the boundary tool and put a boundary around it, we've got an egg shape. I didn't use that. This might be better. I just drew an ellipse and change it up a little bit. I'll go ahead and show you that. I just didn't, you know, hold down the control button, then go up to object and convert it to a curve. So you get other nodes and then kind of zoom in and take this one, maybe elongate a little bit. And we need a sharper point. So I'm going to right clip and turn this into a cusp so I can change them one at a time. And there's your egg shape. It's a little bit sharp point on the top, but we can take the smoothing tool and smooth that out. So either one you use, that one's actually got a hiccup in it, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and use it because we can use this, the smoothing tool to smooth that hiccup out. Let's raise the pin tool a little bit and just kind of, because now this is a vector, it's easier if you take the shape tool and maybe swipe out those nodes. And then there's some extra nodes you don't need. You could go around it, do them as long as it doesn't mess with your shape. But we're going to go ahead and use this shape for our egg shape. And the first one is the cracked egg. And that's easy. I mean, it'd almost be easier to do it in this position. I'm actually going to rotate a little bit to get it perpendicular. Just take two-point line, nothing fancy, and go. I would go outside the shell and just, I'm, I'm letting off the, the uh, left mouse button and, and adding it back. Now, because we went off of the uh, shell, I can go control or hit plus sign on the keyboard. And voila, you have a cracked shell. And you could do, you know, you could put a black borders around it. I actually moved it a little bit. Uh, black border, make them thicker. And there will be nothing in the middle so that's too much of a border. Let's go back 16. And then put a 16 around that one. And you know, there's a way to round that. We could um, use one of the uh, quick tools to do that. And then just take away the hairlines and you got a cracked egg. Someday I'm gonna, I love my calculator, but someday I'm gonna tape over it when I'm doing a video. So there's your cracked egg. How did I do this one? Basically the same thing. Well, this time we use the one we made and we're just taking a lips and just think about, you know, what it looks like and go through there and put an ellipse. You could actually probably fill it in now and, and save you some trouble. Over this time, we're going to use the control D and duplicate key because now we're going to control D all the way down. And I actually need to make it a little bit thicker maybe. Control D, move that one down. Control D, and it'll just keep controlling D. Now to make them look, to make them a little bit easier to figure things out, I'm gonna take the virtual statement delete key and delete everything. And I could probably use back minus front or something on it. And I do not have to delete these because uh, they're not gonna be in the way because I'm gonna use the smart fill tool. But I'm just getting them out of the way because you can see kind of, and then I'm gonna take away all the lines that are going the opposite direction on both sides. And now we have those lines. And I'm actually gonna, well, that one's upside down. I erased the long, wrong line evidently, or I, that's where I moved it. So we're gonna just leave it like it is. So, And then just take your smart fill tool and fill in that, fill in that, fill in that, fill in that. Now that one we got upside down, but 
who knows, we might even be able to, well, let's do one more. Let's go ahead and fill in that into, this is something I would try to do. I would mirror this thing backwards. No, not gonna work, because it's not really the shape, it's a curvature. Uh, but that doesn't look half bad for an egg. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, in the, uh, the first picture, their pictures are actually uh, got different colors. And so now, you know, especially in this purple, you know, it's got a different hue to it, but that's, you know, that's here and there. And you could do the same thing with the smart fill tool and, you know, make the other part yellow for your colored egg. That's how easy it is if you just kind of think about what tool to use. Anyway, and the other one would just be dots. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.